Hey, what's going on, guys? Finally got a day off to make a video for you guys. Um, today, I'll kind of be going over the diet I'm going to be following um, for my off season. Um, so I have some bacon going right now uh, for breakfast. It's eight o'clock. Been up for about an hour on my one day off in two weeks. So um, slept in a little bit, I guess. Uh, well, let's see. Got some, like I said, got some bacon going. Gonna get some eggs going after the bacon's done. And uh, the store by me this morning's got a meat sale going on today, so I think uh, once I get breakfast done, get ready, and uh, head over there, check out, see what they got. I gotta take my son to a doctor's appointment today at 11 and then uh, come home and cook up a bunch of meat because I gotta work the next seven days so I want to have some of that stuff prepared and then uh, have dinner ready for the family tonight so I'm gonna crack open a lemon drop bang this morning as uh, Brent says they should sponsor me because I always have one in my hand which is pretty much right so yeah just waiting on the bacon right now um so i kind of guess i'll describe kind of what diet i'm going to be following um so it's not exactly starting i kind of started following it yesterday but there's still some kind of stuff i need to eat up around the house to uh not just let stuff go to waste So I'm going to be following uh, somewhat of a keto diet, but it's going to be mainly uh, animal based. So I'm not going to be having any vegetables or anything like that. So I'm going to say it's somewhat carnivore diet, but um, I don't know. I'm going to be still using a lot of different seasonings and sauces. Uh, eventually over time, if this is working good, I'll start cutting out sauces and um different seasonings um i'll still be having dairy products so like this morning when i have my eggs i'm gonna throw a little bit of sour cream on them <clears throat> maybe eventually again over time i'll do elimination with this and get rid of dairy products um so there's lots of different forms of the carnivore diet um, the main real strict one is only eating grass-fed beef, red meat, um, and then there's, you know, eating only meat products, um, and then there's eating meat products and uh, animal products, with eggs, and then dairy, and then there's eating eggs and dairy and meat with uh, spices, you know, seasonings. So I'm going to start at the very low end of that um, carnivore. I'm calling it carnivore keto. So, um, so yeah, going to be making up lots of food today. That way I have lunch for the next seven days after today. Um, wife, the last couple nights, she's been making some keto foods for home because I told her I was going to be doing keto. I will probably more than likely just have keto meals at home. Um, but breakfast and lunch is going to be um, more carnivore. And then uh, as I get further into this, I will deep, dig deep into uh, doing a couple times a week of fasting. Um, not super long ones or anything like that, but maybe 16 hour windows. So, um, all right. So I will 
get back with you guys when I get back from the store, kind of show you what I'm going to get. Um, probably depends on what kind of deals they have on stuff, so. Oh, so this is the bacon I'm using. It's uh, the right bacon, right brand bacon. Uh, this is the hickory bacon. Hick naturally smoked hickory bacon. So this is my favorite brand of bacon to use. They have this and applewood and uh, barbecue, I believe. And they have bigger packs, like four pound packs of this too. Um, I usually have like four slices and four eggs for breakfast with a little bit of sour cream on the eggs and then you put cheese on the eggs or cream cheese whatever um oh yeah this is the bacon that i found i like the most it's super thick and tastes good all right i got the dishwasher on sorry uh, just got back from the store it's 10 10 right now i had to go pick the little guy up too so um was just do my grocery all what I'm gonna be eating this week. Start off, I got more bacon. This is the maple flavor. Uh, I'm gonna smoke these today. It's a whole pack of um, country style spare ribs. This is five pounds, and it was eight dollars and thirty-five cents. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I feel like this is wet, so I'm put it on a plate. <clears throat> the bottom of it's wet. Um, they had a deal on boneless, skinless chicken breast. They are previously frozen. This is four pounds, uh, four point one one pounds at a dollar eighteen a pound, so four dollars and eighty five cents for three huge Tyson chicken breasts. I got some eighty twenty ground chuck patties, pretty patty. Got two thick cut boneless center cut thick chops. Oh, these patties, I don't remember how much they were. Uh, these center cut thick chops were $3.99 a pound. Uh, there's just under a pound there, so $3.59. This is probably the most expensive meat I bought right here. This is uh, filet mignon beef tenderloin. They are tenderized already, so they got ran through a meat tenderizer. 1.29 pounds, $9.28. So that was a little expensive, but that's going to be a really nice treat this week. Uh, so that's all the, the meat I got. I also got four uh, Gatorades, the G-Zeros. I have the orange and the lemon lime. Been drinking like one of those a day. I'll just sip on it all day. They are the zero sugar. And they are less than one gram of carb for one serving. That's two and a half servings. Let's have two of each of those. <clears throat> to go with the ground beef to make it uh, more filling. I'm just gonna cook, cook it up like a regular burger patty and then just soak it in bone broth. I got two of these little things, they're like $1.99. Uh, perfect for me just to take to work and put it all together. So I got two of those. So I'll probably have two patties meal or something like that. I got more eggs. Um, just buy by the dozen. I go through four for breakfast. I got more paper plates. Because as you can hear, I'm tired of running the dishwasher on my days off. Just use paper plates. Um, what are you doing, bud? You play off the grocery bag. Where'd you get a grocery bag? Last thing I got, I did get one pop. I got a uh, Coke Zero, uh, the orange vanilla that they just came out with. And then I got a whole case. Of bangs. Um, let's see what flavors did I get. The Bangster Berry, um, Peach Mango, Lemon Drop, Sour Heads, Rainbow Unicorn. Uh, this is the Power Punch, Purple Guava Pear, and Blue Raz. So I already got a couple in there, but I was gonna need. Well, I got one in there, I think, left. But I was gonna need more to get through the week. So.
All right, so that's gonna do it for this video is just kind of go through what I'm gonna be eating for a while now. Um, I'll probably do this, like I said, until um, June, July, August, probably mid-June, end of June, uh, whenever they start to announce the next competition, then I'll be going back to vertical. Vertical seems to be really good for me in competition. I get really pretty pretty strong. Um, I get PRs every time I start hitting back on it, so um, I'm pretty happy with following that diet. So I got to clean my fridge out now to fit all this crap in there, and I appreciate you guys watching and follow along with me on this journey. So it's going to be a while before I come out with another video, just because I have to work the next seven days, and I get one day off, and then back for a couple more so I will be um, going to nights then so I will be able to get to the gym more often um, I don't like going to the gym when I'm on days because that means I have to get up at like three o'clock in the morning or miss out on family time after work so um, and then going to the gym after everybody's in bed at least for an hour would put me to bed still at like 10 o'clock and getting up at four o'clock not fun, especially now that I'm actually making uh, a decent breakfast before I go to work every morning now. So, all right. Um, thanks for catching up with me. Um, I'm, I know I'm way behind on some of your guys' videos. I'm going to try and get back to that here soon. I really haven't watched much YouTube since uh, right before the competition, uh, just because of travel, competition, and then working. Uh, four days in a row i plan on doing catching up today but now i got the little guy here so i will catch you guys later as always lift big eat big get big <laughs>